Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create this bubble pop logo reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and first we are going to create a new composition. So just click on new composition and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our logo. So go to composition, new comp and just call this one logo and all the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's open up our logo composition and as you can see that I've already dragged my logo. So you can use whatever logo you want. Just simply select it then press S and you can just scale it down to something like this. Now let's go back to our main comp and I'm going to drag this logo composition over here just like this. So now in order to add some liquid kind of look we have to apply a few effects. So let's search for blobilize just drag it onto this logo comp and the next effect is cc scatter so simply drag this as well now before we tweak these effects we are going to add some motion to this so let's add the upward motion so for that i'm going to create a new null object so go to layer new null object and then i'm going to parent our logo to the null object so if you're not able to see the parent option then you can just simply right click under the columns you can enable this so now I can select the null object and press P for position and let me just add a keyframe over here and I'm going to move this keyframe to somewhere around 3 seconds and in the beginning I'm going to move it down below just like this. Now you can select the keyframes you can right click go to keyframe assistant and under that you can easy ease them or you can press F9. Now if I play back here you can see that our logo is moving up which is exactly what we want. But you can see that it is moving up in a straight line. So we want to add some sort of wiggliness to its path so that it looks like our bubble is floating in the air. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the logo and let's add a position keyframe to this one. So let's add a keyframe over here and let's move to somewhere around here. And now I'm going to move it to the right side a little bit. And in the beginning, I'm going to move this to the left side, just like this. So you can select all the keyframes, then press F9 to easy step. So now if I play back, here you can see that now it is not moving in a straight path, but doing some sort of motion. So which looks good for animation. So let's tweak these parameters to give it a more of a liquid kind of look. So if you go under the ploppiness, you can see that we have few options. So first I'm going to increase the softness so right away you can see that it gives it a more of a liquid kind of look and if you want you can play with the cutaway so let's just put it to somewhere around 5 yeah, so I think this looks good now if you want you can tweak the look more by going under the shading so over here you can see we have options like ambient diffuse and it will change the look of your blob so i'm just going to lower down the metal to something like five and if you go under the light you can see that from here we can control the light direction and all this stuff so this is going to be very handy when we are going to animate it so let's start animating this so in the beginning we want our lights to be where they are and let's go to somewhere around three seconds and now i'm going to just simply type two over here so that it will complete two rotations just like this maybe if you think that it's too much then you can just simply lower down it something like this that's why i think this is looking good if you want you can use after effects lights as well but for this one we are going to use the simple lights that's why i think this is looking good now let's add the scattering to this but before that we need another copy of logo so that this one will pop and the other logo copy will be revealed so let's place it below there 
and now i'm going to parent this to this logo and now let's add the pop animation to the logo but before that let's disable our below logo so that we can focus on the bubble only now in order to make this pop you can just simply animate this property just like this so right away you can see that it looks like our logo has bursted so let's add a keyframe then you can press u to reveal all the keyframes that you have added so in the beginning we want this to be somewhere around here so in the beginning it will be zero and somewhere around three seconds we want this to be really high something like this maybe let's go with 500 so now you can see that we have this sort of motion now let's enable our logo just like this now we don't want to see our logo in the beginning so what we can do is we can just simply select this and trim this now I'm going to add the opacity as well as scale animation to this one so just press T and S for scale and opacity now you can press U to reveal both the keyframes and in the beginning I want the scale to be at 0 so that it will look like a logo appears after the pop just move the keyframes closer then press F9 so just play around with these parameters and just keep on adjusting the position till you find a good spot yeah so I think this one is looking nice so we don't need the opacity since we are already animating the scale from zero so I think yeah this is looking fine so now we have to add the trans opacity animation to these particles so that these will fade away so let's select this press t for opacity and let's change their value to zero so now you can see that it pops and then fades away now probably we need more of these scattering particles so in order to do that we can select the logo then press t to duplicate this and on this one i'm going to delete the cc blob allies just like this so right away you can see that we have more particles and let me just press u to reveal all the keyframes and now just trim this just like this so now if i play back here you can see that now we have added more particles to this so if you think that the particles are bursting too fast so you can again press u and then move these two keyframes a little bit further apart just like this also make sure to adjust the opacity keyframe as well yeah so i think this is looking fine so now you can see that we have added the animation over here so we are almost done with our animation our last step is to just add some wiggle to this bubble as well so in order to do that i'm going to select the logo and let's search for an effect called turbulent displays just drag and drop it onto this layer just like this so right away you can see that we have this weird kind of look so let's lower down the amount to something like 15 and all the things will remain same now in order to animate this we are going to just keyframe the evolution so you can see that now it is moving so in the beginning let's add a keyframe for the evolution and let's go it somewhere around here and let's change the evolution to 1 or maybe let's change this to 2 so now you can see that we have added some wiggle to our logo as well so yeah i think this is looking fine so it's completely up to you you can play around with these settings and you can come up with your own custom looks so yeah i think this is looking fine so this is how you can create the bubble burst logo reveal animation in after effects now if you want to change the logo all you have have to do is just simply drag another logo into the logo comp and it will automatically update over here so i hope you learned something from this video and if you want the project files for this tutorial will be available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial files plus there are some other templates that are available only for patreons as well
So that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more of these videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.